Hey, welcome back to Rusty Guns. So, uh, I had someone uh, that saw my Glock and saw well, saw how I had did the wrapping on that, and so they actually gave me their 1911 to do basically the, a similar type of wrap to their 1911. So we have here uh, SDS Knoxville, Tennessee. It says carry back here with an eagle on it and zig m45 tisas turkey so but looks like a typical 1911 so first we'll start with the grips and uh, the one gun skin they chose is a typical kind of American flag style one here so this part here will go on the slide so it'll have the blue and the stars and then uh, a flag pattern here for the grips and then at the bottom of the magazine it has these small cutouts like that. So let's go ahead and get started with the grips. I'm actually going to take these grips off and do the grips off of the gun instead of on the gun. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with this grip right here. And uh, for the grip pieces, uh, they are notched like typical 1911 ones, so just make sure you find the proper one uh, to do this with. And the first thing we're going to do is going to put some alcohol on this grip though to make sure that it is completely clean. Looks like it's going to be a tiny bit longer, so since it's going to be just a little bit longer than the standard piece, I want to line up this curved edge as best as I can. As long as you don't apply heat to these, you can peel them and restick them as you need. That's looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and press this down a little bit. We're going to let this cool and then we will trim off the excess. In the meantime, we will go ahead and do the next one. Oh, okay, we're back. I had already taken that grip off. Forgot to start the camera when I started this, but basically, same process as before. Just get it laid on there. Just press it down a little bit, then start hitting it with some heat and forming it to where you want it to go. Let's work our way down. All right, looks like we got this one done as well. Now, so I will go back. We're gonna grab the one we did previously so this should be dried up and we should be able to trim this one down now. You just don't want to trim it when the vinyl is still hot because uh, it will tend to want to roll and not actually cut nice and even. And we're just going to go along the edge real lightly to get anything that might have just barely hung over. I got these really close to the edge, but just in case there's anything that kind of barely hung over. And we've got to cut out this large circle, of course. There you go. Looking pretty good so far. like it. I think he made a good choice with what he picked. I think this gun's going to turn out pretty nice. 
All right, so there we go. We have both sides of the gun done on the grips. And like I said, it looks really good. I think he took a, I think he made a good choice for this, uh, this silver color of the gun and the grips. And then the slide, I think, is going to really make this gun look, I mean, pretty nice. Hey, what's up, everybody? So uh, I finished up uh, getting the gun scan put on that 1911. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to videotape me doing the slide part. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to link in before and after pics uh, of the 1911 with, the, with that gun scan on it so you guys can see it, see what it looks like. All right. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time.